Happy Monday. Nothing happy about Mondays as always. Live. <laughs> Welcome to Daytime Live. Remember, you can watch us on onespotmedia.com or you can catch up at televisionjamaica.com. And also, for some of the lazy people who just want to type in something, you can go on YouTube. Can you stop calling the people lazy, up, please? Because YouTube is just easily accessible. So you can watch us on YouTube as well, chat and buzz. And also remember to use hashtag TVJDTL to join in on the conversation and follow us on Instagram and Twitter at TVJ underscore daytime life so you can win some prizes. I don't know if you're seeing so some really, really good prizes we are getting. You know, last week some people win spa yes. and all sorts of From fabulous Adam treatment. So Adam and great. Eve Day Spa, yes. Adam and Eve Day Spa, yes. But you know, before we dive into chat and all the excitement that we have planned, we have to talk about what's buzzing. And buzzing, 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 toll road again. I don't know what's going on there, but I feel like this is our third time talking about a hike yeah. um, where the toll road is concerned. So come July 1st, the Portmore Toll Road, Spanish Town Vineyards and Maypen Leg of, high, of the Highway will be facing a 10% increase. Mm -hmm. Now, this means that the Class 1 vehicles will have to now pay $220 at Portmore, $160 at Spanish Town and $440 at Vineyards and $360 at the Maypen Leg. I don't know why every time this has to happen, but it's not a good look. They have to pay it back, China. I, I, I know, it, I, I know <laughs> we have to do that, but I mean, it's it's burdening. Um, it's kind of sad that every time you hear about the toll road, it has to do with the hike. And then sometimes, even I use the Ochi one sometimes, and yes. road are broke when I still appear money. 2000 something so dollars to go to Ochi and come not, back. It's not no. a good look, so you have to ensure that these things there's some benefit to it when you're raising. I don't know what benefit is there though, but as I said, we have to pay back China. So, no, no, no. The <laughs> so I think that's the only thing that's there. And I mean, the persons will be facing it mainly. The um, truck drivers, trailer drivers, because you know that money they hire already. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like some $670 and $1,210. So yeah. we kind of tell you have a lot of people raising. as well that's taking taxi to Portmore. You know, the, the, the route taxi thing. That's a lot of money. They have to... We need to stop. Me and the government. Me and the conversation. I'm like, we need to stop it. Because it's it's a lot. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But um, like I said, I guess today um, with, with Buzz, the whole thing about the church and the, the conversation about marriage yeah. and how do you establish um, rape mm -hmm. in a marriage. Because that's an ongoing discussion. Because it's, that's been an ongoing yeah, discussion. and that's upsetting me too. I mean, oh, guys, I am... A little bit disheartened by the whole conversation, to be honest, because I believe um, Philippa Davis was, um, they had a parliamentary, yeah, the parliamentary review yeah, committee, yeah. and she was saying that marriage presumes consent for sex um, by both parties. And Joel and I were talking about that. And my thing on it is that I agree that marriage does presume or assume that, you know, if I'm going to marry Joel, you know, of course, sex is a part it's of a the part agreement. Of it, yeah. Um, however, she's saying, how do you denote that you've withdrawn consent? Uh, just you know, a, just to add a little background to it as well. You have six church groups. We're talking about six church groups and a lobby group who came out against it. They're basically saying, don't trouble marriage with tougher rape laws because, as I mentioned, um, Philip presented in front of the parliamentary mm -hmm. committee that's reviewing the sexual um, sexual offences act because yeah. that's that's been going on for a little while as well. So the whole discussion is surrounding the, the fact that the church, church and again, state. yes, church and state, and the separation fact, of church and state, yes. yes, and the fact that they have the presumption of sex being um, a part of marriage, consent, so because we're married. So people are now saying that you can actually have cases of rape within a marriage. Yeah. But their stance, the, the church's stance, and the lobby group's stance is that by increasing the tougher laws, you're going to, it's going to affect the sanctity. Of the marriage. The sanctity of marriage. So there's a whole, whole To be stuff. honest, I'm going to say something and don't come for me. I think the whole conversation is so ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? It's like saying, if you, if I, if my daughter then, can you not be abusive to your daughter? Because she's my daughter, therefore I can't be abusive to her. The truth is that abuse happens in any relationship with anybody. I mean, I don't think changing you understand know, yeah i'm just like what is the conversation because here even londia this morning we we're talking to londia and she was saying the first thing why why are you even heavily focused on the husband and wife because <laughs> before you become a husband and yeah. wife you're a base, you're a human, human and they're basic human rights in terms of infringing on a personal space mm -hmm. you know um 
touching you without consent and stuff like that. So I even think if you go back to those ori or original foundation as to what makes you a basic human, then these discussions might become a little bit easier. I don't yeah. know, but it's kind of confusing. I'm kind of yeah. I think it's kind of that. irrelevant. It is. I mean, it's yes, not necessarily you can irrelevant. Be raped in a relation, in a, in a marriage. Not, yes, you can. And I want to continue following so. up with this story in particular because I want to see how it's developed. And I think it's just it's just a mess. It's just it's too just much. a mess. Is it? But speaking <laughs> of, uh, <laughs> uh, don't know. Speaking of what actually? But <laughs> you know, moving on. <laughs> to lighten the mood a little, I don't know if you remember Alicia Mont Montano. Yeah. Uh, she's a U.S. Olympian, and mm. she, you know, she made um, headlines the other day. Not the other day. A couple years ago. <laughs> the the other day. As a pregnant runner. Yeah. Right. So she's like way into the pregnancy. I think there it was she eight is. months yes. the last time, <laughs> and she, uh, she came out again. She actually wasn't going to um, participate in the race, but her husband uh, Louis, who is also her manager, said that you know matters are good to go run. Yeah. So she's now in the headlines again for the same thing. And she's I just think this running is running while pregnant. <laughs> I think this is amazing. Yeah. I think it's tremendous. Um, I'm happy that she's a black woman. Why? She looks like a black, yeah, she's a black Why are you happy she's a black woman? Because it just, you know, go, it, it, it reminds me of um, the whole Serena Williams uh, discussion the other day about competing while pregnant. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember that. I do remember that. <laughs> yeah. So, so it's, it reminded me of that. But I think that was just a nice story too. It's nice. I think it's wonderful that she's, you know, whilst you're pregnant, yeah. it's not an illness. It's, you know, you're pregnant. <laughs> so keep doing what you're doing until you can't <laughs> but, do it anymore. But also speaking of running, I don't know if you saw the video with the lady doing the high jump. Not running, but high jump on the week flu. But I don't think we'll have the video for that one. <laughs> 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 so, anyway, Joe, what have you been doing? Uh, uh, what have you been up to? I mean, we... This first, weekend. Yes, yeah, so like last week we had the RGR Gleaner. Uh, client appreciation, appreciation. so ceremony. we had that last week which was fun it was really yes. really nice and relaxed and all of that so that was really what um was excited it's last week for event. me for yeah. the weekend i mean as usually i chill with my friends yeah um go on the road or whatever yeah. so it's kind of you know you know, ask me why weekend. i can't lift my but hand what did you do because i ask saw me why i can't lift my hand Joel. Last i saw week. Ask me. Uh, uh, because you got taken on last week Freddie, you took on the 60, 60 day challenge. challenge hashtag 60 i heard we had a video you know you have a video of me heard, crying? I oh, heard, Lord. I don't know if we have it. Um, Odessa, <laughs> can we she pull has it up, it. please, oh, and embarrass God. her? Oh, no, don't laugh at me. Why, why are you doing that? Where's the video? She is... That's me in the hat. You see it? Oh, we don't have the audio because she is shouting. She's a beast. Look at that. Oh, my God. Well... You were definitely damaged. What you didn't hear was like, Nisha! Down, Nisha! Lower! I was like... Well, nothing more to say than you got <laughs> what you deserve. Hashtag summer body. But we have, so much, we have yes. so much more to talk about. Daytime chat, introducing your partner to your family. You don't want to miss out on that one. We will be right back. Yes. I love.